Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I'm actually headed over to Lucky Sports Bar right now, and I'm as excited as can be. Sorry, the camera is bouncing around in my old truck. There we go. That might be a little better. I'm excited as can be because, see, there's a lot of important games that are going on today. Um, the game, of course, because it's Cowboys versus the Dolphins originally was scheduled to be on Fox um, as a nationwide game, but they realized that it probably isn't going to be that good. But that's okay, because we got the Eagles going off at the same time in a very important game against the Lions. We can keep an eye on that one, as well as we've got the Giants taking on Tampa Bay. You know, so the nice thing about being at uh, Lucky's is, one, I can relax and just focus in on the game. I don't have to worry about cooking any chicken wings and everything this morning, um, because one o'clock games, I'm sorry, but there you get pressed um, on trying to get everything together. You know, when we got the four o'clock or the night games, it's a little easier because I've got all day to kind of get together. And after the last two weeks, I am actually happy to let somebody else do the cooking and, and the serving for me for once so I can kind of relax a little bit more. But um, this is what it's all about. You know, whether your team is winning or losing, I'll tell you what, I'll take having a losing team over no football at all. And I know that's how you Redskin fans and Giant fans are feeling right now. But understand, it's still a long season. You never know what might happen or what player that you don't think anything about can stand step up. Because if you're the Jacksonville Jaguars right now, you're feeling a lot better about this rookie, um, Gardner Menachew. He all of a sudden is looking like, wait a minute, he might be the best quarterback we've had since like Mark Brunel right now. Because what you had before, oh lordy, and then spending all the money you did on Nick Foles, you know, maybe all of a sudden you've got a quarterback. Now this is an amazing statistic right now. There are 20 quarterbacks that are under the age of 26. This is the youngest quarterbacks to ever play in the NFL. Quarterbacks, wow, we've had a complete turnover here because, you know, when things happen, it's funny how things kind of go back to an equilibrium. You know, things will swing too far one way, then it'll swing back the other way, but eventually it comes back to center. You know, you'll remember how offenses, you know, Peyton Manning was, you know, throwing tons and tons of touchdowns. Everybody was, you know, scoring so many points. But now it seems like it's kind of swung back towards the defenses again where teams aren't scoring as many points. And so you were looking at, you know, the Drew Brees, the uh, Ben Roethlisberger, the Eli Mannings, the um, Peyton Mannings. You were looking at, of course, um, the Tony Romos. You were looking at um, Tom Brady. You were looking at all of these older quarterbacks. Matt Castle is still around, believe it or not. Um, all these older quarterbacks where teams were relying on these aging veterans. Now, all of a sudden, those guys can't stay upright on the field. They're getting long in the tooth, and now all of a sudden, because teams have been focusing in on having all these veteran presence and things, and not having money to really have a veteran backup, and basically, let's face it, most of the veteran backups, if they were any good, would be starters. They have young drafted quarterbacks as backups. So now all of a sudden you lose all this first tier of quarterbacks and now you're relying on the young pups. So maybe what we're seeing now all of a sudden is the changing of the guard of NFL quarterbacks. So we got a lot of young guys, you know, we got the Daniel Jones starting. We've got, of course, my quarterback, Dak Prescott, only in his fourth year. And you see my power of four. I am superstitious. Believe it or not, I know it's crazy that I'm superstitious, but I've had a Power of Four t-shirt under my jersey the last two weeks, and so far, Dak Prescott, just like with Joe Boo, having Joe Boo, having a Dak Prescott who's been touched by Dak Prescott jersey on has stayed healthy. So I'm going to keep running with this thing until it doesn't run anymore. So. Hope you guys join our live stream. We'll be at Lucky's. Um, E2 Blue is supposed to come, but you know, E2 is always late. I love you, dog, but you always show up late. Um, and I'm not sure who else is going to be able to make it there. Rashid might, uh, but we'll see. Either way, if it's just me and Joe Boo, we're
we're still going to have fun because I've got all of you guys. And uh, I'm pulling up the Lucky's now. We'll get unpacked and get everything set up so that way we can bring you coverage from Lucky's. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, it's great to be alive. I'll see you.